Well, good morning and welcome to Zen Fits here on the last day of 2019. My, 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 how time goes by. You know, I do these every day now, so they're really adding up. Uh, they're on my YouTube, Ed Connolly at YouTube. I think that'll come up. And also on my blog, which you can see here. Because this is mirror, I had to write this backwards. P people come in here and don't know what it was. Why is that backwards? <laughs> so, so let's connect some dots. Um, I was writing this morning, which I'll post on this um, talk. Is uh, The title is uh, Upset, Just Add Zero. So uh, yesterday I had a, uh, I was at uh, Barnes & Noble and I, uh, to cash in a um, gift and I stumbled upon a book by Karen Armstrong, The Art of Reading Scripture. I forgot to bring it in here. And she talks about the modern age has lost its ability, religion, Protestantism particularly, has lost its ability, particularly evangelicalism, is <laughs> fundamentalism, has lost its ability to uh, interpret scripture as it historically has been interpreted by mankind in all the different cultures. This is unique, the modern age, the materialism of the modern age, because materialism means everything is a thing. Everything is a thing. And then last night I was watching a documentary on uh, the history of mathematics uh, on ACORN. No, it was on Netflix, I think. Uh, maybe ACORN. <laughs> no Netflix, no ACORN. <laughs> One of them. And uh, what was particularly interesting was that either, uh, mathematics began in uh, numbers, counting, began in Egypt, with sticks and things, and they did all these pyramids and all their mathematical calculations uh, with, with their very rudimentary number system. And then Babylonia, uh, Babylon created the number system, which was a little flexible, and then China had its own number system. And, uh, but it, and the Greeks did. But None of them had the zero, so India discovered the zero. And numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus zero. So get, you know, if you have one, you had a zero, you got 10. You had two zeros, you got 100. We just assumed that was the way everything is. But that was a huge invention, discovery of zero, because zero as a number is nothing, is zero. There, to discover zero is to discover nothing. Now the Indian mind was particularly capable of that discovery because in all of their religions, there are many religions, Hinduism, all their gods have a zero next to them, metaphorically speaking. I mean, the god is not a thing, but it is, it's like a hospital gown. It's got a front to it, and you see the pattern, but the back's open. So the back is zero. <laughs> the God is open to the infinite. So you can't really pin the God down and make it into a thing, a literal thing, you see. So all the gods are open. In the back, they have zero to infinity and beyond, you see. So whatever particular God form you pick, whatever guru or God or sacred object you pick, you see, if you add zero to it, it becomes art. It becomes open in the back so that you are connected to the infinite, to the potential of your being, you see, by adding a zero to the form that you worship. If there's no zero, then your form is a form and all the other forms are uh, aliens. There, there can only be one God. So if your God is the one God as a form, then all the other gods are a threat. You've got to get rid of them because you can only have one. But if every God has a zero, then every God is your God, but also all gods because God is zero, empty. You can't pin them down. You can't make it into a statue. You can't make it into a form. 
But there has to be form. You see the dilemma? There has to be form in order for you to perceive anything. You can't perceive nothing. That's why the invention of the zero is so great. Um, so I'm kind of connecting dots here on this New Year's Eve, uh, the end of 2019, 2020. What is that? Two, zero, two, zero. I find this interesting because, like, are we going to add a zero? Uh, we are going to add zeros, too, to 2020, two twos. But what will that zero do? We're going to have an election next year. Uh, it's going to be a crazy year. Is it going to just be a repeat of the past years? Catch 22, two, two, back, wah, 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 wah. Can't get out of the two, wah, wah, wah. Or are we going to add a zero to it and discover our potential? See, zero makes potential. If you got a one, you add zero, you got ten. Add two zeros, you got a hundred. Keep adding the zeros to infinity and beyond, you see. <laughs> so this idea of the zero is so, let's get back to my title. So before I digress, well, I always digress. So what if you're upset? If you're caught in, if you if you feel like you've missed the mark, if so, if you're dissatisfied, if you're irritated, oh my God, O M G, oh my God, you see, just add zero. So if you add nothing to what you believe, it opens it up. It's just a thought. If you add zero to whatever you think, or to what other people think, you open it up. It's okay. It's just zero. It's nothing. <laughs> everything is nothing when you have zero in your life. But everything is nothing doesn't mean everything is nothing. It means everything is everything. Everything is full. And it's empty at the same time. Empty. Everything is empty. Everything is zero. It means everything. It's got all the numbers in zero. You see? It's a paradox. It, it's, a, uh, it's a magical thing. It's alchemy. Alchemy. How do you make this miserable moment okay? Add zero. <laughs> Don't believe you're thinking about it. Don't believe other people's thought. Don't believe thinking. It's zero. You see? We think. We can't help but think. But don't believe it. Add zero to it. So what does that leave you with? Oh, well, oh, you say, well, who would I be if I can't think? You will be you. You'll be zero. <laughs> you see? You see, we're all, this moment is zero. But then we add thought to it and make it something. And we forget the zero. But it's always, now is always zero. Now is always empty. But we add stuff to it. We add numbers. And we get this, but we can't put all of We add five numbers. Well, then what about number six? Or you added too many numbers. Or you didn't add enough. You see, there's always something missing when all you have is numbers. But if you have zero, oh, well then whatever you think, whatever you've got, just add zero and you'll be okay. That's a discovery. So you have to discover zero if you want to be okay. And if you're okay, then the world is okay. Because you are the world and the world is you. I start this talk off, and I forgot to mention it, but you are the center of the world. I am the center of my world. You're the center of your world. What's the center? Zero. You see, it's not something, because if there's something, then there's going to be something else. And then you just keep expanding the somethings, trying to get to what? To zero. <laughs> you see? So we're looking for zero in the wrong place. We're looking to zero by adding numbers, by adding thought, by adding years. Or going the other way, subtracting negative numbers. India discovered that too. So we're looking for zero. We're looking for the emptiness. We're looking for the source. We're looking for our source, our Father. We're looking for our God, which is zero, in numbers. In numbers, you see, in time. Past, future, Restore America, get to America, create America, restore. We're it. 
This is zero. We're at ground zero right now. This is it. Happy New Year.